What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shock Management. Today I want to talk about VIP Shock Management's seventh generation. Uh, every year, or maybe less than a year, uh, we make a new generation VIP. And the way we do it is we focus on one area that it's weak and uh, we put everything into it uh, to make it better and easier for you guys and make the software and the program better. Uh, that's what makes us different from any uh, shop management out there. It's that the excitement. Uh, I don't know. I've always said uh, there's something about VIP shop management that makes it different than any shop management. I can't really pinpoint it, uh, but maybe it's it was built based on genuine more than anything. So, all right. Well, let's talk about the difference of what you expect with VIP shop management uh, seventh generation. So let's see what's up. Um, you're gonna see jobs are numbered now, not like before. So you're gonna see jobs are numbered. Now, another thing you're gonna notice, like before, if you put labor up top, you used to switch to a different job, not anymore. Um, uh, you, can, you can do whatever you want, you're in control. If you wanna expand this to a second job, all you have to do is drag anything down. Like if we drag this, sorry, we need to click on it. If we drag this down, we can see that there's a second job and it's kind of automatically organized and automatically um, uh, creates like separate like collapse or expands uh, the jobs another thing that we did if you have uh, if you have a big invoice you're gonna see that it, it does expand automatically now so it's not like before where you have to click or collapse or expand now we wanted to do this automatically if I go back and reopen it um, because it's a big invoice it's gonna be always expanded and so you can see everything um, the control are hidden now when on the, on the expand mode um, just click on the plus sign and you're gonna see them back X when you need because when you have a big invoice basically you already build this so you don't need the control to be shown at all time um, yes another thing that I want to talk about is um, let, let me clear this Let's just do some real jobs. Let's say we have an alternator and let's do um, some tires, some tires inventory. I'm gonna add some tires. So we're gonna see like you, you have two jobs right here. One, um, the alternator and the other one is the tires. I wanna do one more job. Um, and let's say we have water pump. So we have three jobs the alternator um, the tires and the water pump and let's say the customer said i don't want to do the tires right now so before you have to basically select every one and decline which is you still can do that um excuse me but you don't have to do that anymore you have to all you can do what you can do is select one job the whole job so if i click on job two you're gonna see it's gonna select the whole job and i can decline job number two so if i click on decline yes and what happened job number two disappeared I reorganized everything if i go to view quote now i have the job and why is that very important because let's say i have another job right here um and uh, let's say the customer called back and says you know what uh you know what which happens a lot uh, go ahead and do the tires instead of trying to bring every item back or trying to figure out what was the stop total on the tires uh it's gonna it's right there it's 373 so i have to do just click on job one and you're gonna see transfer job so we transfer it and just click done and the tires are right there so which is really cool um what else i want to talk about i mean those small things are really really important but one more thing which is we added let's say i want to add i want to add something to the to the to the to the first job right here i forgot something how do i add something directly to first job instead because usually it adds at the bottom if i want something uh, directly to up top right here let's and they say uh, electric short right just click on job one and just type whatever you want say electric short short and let's say it took you 2.3 and you can put the technician i don't have any technician all right just click on um, just click on add and you see what happens it's going to add it just right underneath that job so yes you can add 
directly to any job that you want which is really really cool um what else what else i think that's it it should be ready on memorial day i'm uh, still gonna run tests today and tomorrow but it should be ready for sure on memorial day you guys can enjoy it um i uh, appreciate uh those changes that it's gonna make a huge difference and uh yeah make sure like when you when it's from inventory you're gonna see the the the, the icon right there so you know this is from inventory yes um that's it for today appreciate you guys watching until next time happy memorial day thanks